Hello, I am Francis from McCaffrey Crafts here in Calorglan in County Kerry. Um, I'm 100% Irish. I live here. Um, I'm from Calorglan. It's a small town on the southwest of Ireland in County Kerry. Um, I am a full-time professional um, blackthorn stick maker, also known as a shillelagh maker or something like that. And in today's video, I'm going to, um, to, to give you guys some information about what is a shillelagh. It's, it's like a question that I, I do get asked a lot, and uh, I'd be quite happy to kind of explain it in, uh, in this video to what actually is a shillelagh and what better way to get your source of information from a real Irishman who's living here in Ireland as well, because there's loads of guys out there uh, that will, will tell you all of these different things. So to um, the term in 2023, shillelagh usually refers to a kind of knob stick that comes from Ireland and uh, to Irish people it's more of these, uh, these shorter ones okay so to an Irish person this would be like a shillelagh and um, usually they're about 18 to 20 inches in length and um, as you can see they're they're kind of like a knob stick and um, these are made from from blackthorn wood um, and also like um, the shillelagh is is what's called the heritage product of Ireland this is a symbol of Irish heritage and um, right up there with with the shamrocks and uh, <laughs> and all of that but um so these shillelaghs were given to foreign dignitaries who visit Ireland like you know such wild man like good old Bill Clinton or or uh, Muhammad Ali or you know various uh we see like you know various kind of dignitaries that that came to Ireland they were presented were like here is a symbol of Ireland here own a piece of Ireland um and here is something that grew in Irish soil made from Irish hands and we present it to you uh, as our, our national product and uh it was something that used to be done a lot but nowadays uh it seems the Irish government uh you know they they don't uh, honor uh, Irish crafts anymore. They don't respect heritage crafts as well. And uh, like uh, like the majority of people everywhere in the world is, uh, I'm not a fan of uh, of 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 uh, the current uh, powers that be in in Ireland as well. I feel they've they've lost their way and uh, they're going in all different directions. And they really need to focus more on what it is to be Irish and Irish products and Irish crafts as well. Um, as a business owner, um. I get charged a high tax rate for 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 these um you know the they have like a, a vat a vat rate which is nine percent for tourism but for craftspeople they charge us a 23 percent tax vat on these so a shillelagh is a heritage product of ireland um usually referring to the the, the shorter sticks but um sometimes and it became quite popular in america is that for the walking sticks which have a kind of knob handle, which are made in Ireland, they are also called a shillelagh. Um, in 2023, um, most people kind of like call both of these type of things uh, shillelaghs. And uh, this is okay. Like you have, um, you know, like the American football team, Notre Dame. And uh, Notre Dame, um, they have the shillelagh and it comes, there's different types of shillelaghs too. You can get ones with like a T-shape, ones with various different shapes and sizes and different things. But it's okay. There's nothing wrong with calling this a shillelagh and calling this a shillelagh. Um, it's just that in, in like North America, it's probably like um, when someone says uh, they want a shillelagh or something like that, they're usually referring to kind of like a walking stick, maybe um, 36 to 38 inches in length. Um, you know, if you were, if you were up to six foot, six foot four, six foot five, a 38, 38 and a half stick is, is usually tall enough. It's usually half your height with shoes on. There's various ways to, to kind of calculate it as well. So, um, the term shillelagh, there's, there's a lot of debate of where it originated from and where it came from. And there's a lot of different theories and stuff. And it's like everywhere in Ireland, everywhere and every country and every location has its own opinions. Um, I like to believe um, that it came from the word uh, sailella, um, which means a, a, a tronged stick, a stick with a little lanyard on it, a stick with, with a handle that you can kind of hold like this. So I like to believe that, uh, you know, the, the sailella, Shillelagh, 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 it, it kind of originated from, from that. Um, there is a town in Wicklow um, called Shillelagh, and uh, there's a forest there as well. And uh, the forest was usually like synonymous with oak. 
And uh, usually in historical records, when everyone, when anyone was referring to the wood oak, they would refer to Shalala, um, and uh, this was referring to the actual woods um, for being oak, because oak forests were there. And, uh, you know, property to country belief, it, it's not an area with a lot of blackthorn. Um, I've been all over that place, and uh, I've been up there many times. Uh, usually have to drive for about an hour or 90 minutes away to find areas of blackthorn. So um, it's oak that was actually the wood of choice there, and uh, that was what was, uh, was, was kind of like known. There was businesses uh, that would supply oak uh, for various industries as well and so there's yeah so like people from that part of Ireland think the word shillelagh comes from from their their town and uh, the Wicklow Tourism Board uh, promoted as as that um, but like the thing about shillelaghs and faction fighters and things as well is that the real home of it is like County Tipperary, County Cork, County Kerry where I'm from, County Limerick it was really much a monster thing that originated in start and it kind of um you know, faction fighting is kind of synonymous with, with these type of shillelaghs and sticks as well. Um, because in the 1800s, um, during fair days, um, Irish guys with a bit of grief against each other, it was kind of like a tribalistic thing. Uh, they would have these faction fights and they would use blackthorn wood and uh, a few other different woods as well. And they would fight each other with sticks. And uh, it was seen, you know, it was very different. And a lot of people confuse the faction fighting with other fighting that went on at the time to do with landlords, to do with rents, to do with protesting and stuff. But the faction fights were more about, you know, two families or two groups that had some grudge against each other and they used to meet and organize on fair days. They would have a thing called the wheel where they would shout banter at each other first, call each other names, say how ugly you were and how cheaters they were. And women would get involved as well. And uh, it was pretty wild and, you know, it, it got out of hand and, and people were, were dying in these, these kind of, uh, you know, these, these kind of organized faction fights and uh, people were wearing the various colors. They were associated with their factions as well. So again, it's very different. And uh, faction, real faction fighting didn't go on in every county in Ireland. Um, it likes to say that it spread and it did spread, spread to other things too. And then you have like the Donnybrook fight and it spread up like, you know, through, throughout Connacht as well. Uh, and not like proper each country belief. It, it wasn't really like um, a big, big thing in... Um, in Ulster uh, at all. It was more a monster thing. And then Leinster and then Connacht a bit as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, Irish immigrants who went to the US, they bought their shillelagh or their, their stick with them as well. They brought the stories of the faction fighters who were seen as heroes. You know, Big Mick Foley was a very famous faction fighter from Calorglan here in County Kerry, and I would be a descendant of him, Foley, on my mother's side. Um, my mother's uh, family has been, been here for, for generations and generations. And, uh, you know, these, these guys were huge, massive characters. You know, they were, you know, guys six foot two, six foot three, six foot four. And when they had a shillelagh in their hands, they were vicious and they were legendary for, for their, their, um, their ability in, in these fights. So uh, a lot of kind of the, the lore around shillelaghs come mostly from the 1800s and associating with the, the faction fighting and, and different things as well. And shillelagh is more a term that kind of is used more so, I think, in, in North America. That, uh, like in Ireland, like this is just a blackthorn walking stick. And then the short one, we'd call these like shillelaghs or something like that. Uh, in North America and places around the world, they, they'll call them all like shillelaghs and different things. And it's fine. Like the term is used uh, interchangeably and uh, it's, you're not wrong. There's no offense. You know, calling this a shillelagh is fine. Calling this a shillelagh is fine. Like um, I think like a lot of people get worried because of cancel culture and everything that, oh, my God, am I calling the wrong thing, the wrong shillelagh and stuff like that. But like, you know, genuinely, most Irish people aren't like, you know, outside of Dublin, maybe. Uh, but everyone outside of Dublin, I, Dublin might be a bit more kind of tense with, with terms and different things. But uh, uh, Irish people are generally pretty laid back. Um, self-deprecating humor. Uh, you know, we, we don't seem to get offended too much. Uh, and if we do, we're just pretending usually <laughs> to for a laugh. What did you call me? Did you call me something? You know, oh, you know, but Irish people generally are just kind of like pretty laid back, comical, self-deprecating. Sometimes we think it's funny to like pretend to be annoyed with someone just for comic relief and, and different things like that as well. There's a lot of banter and crack. And, uh, you know, you, you, you say the, the strongest and worst things to your best friend as well. Like, you know, we use language very colorfully as well. Um, if you if I was to record a conversation between two Irish guys in a bar or something like that as well, 
Um, I'm sure it'd be cancelled. I'm sure uh, people would be up in arms, but like uh, Irish people, when when they're amongst themselves, you know, they they talk in in, in a different way. But anyway, look it up. So, so the main thing to take from this video is that what is a shillelagh? Um, a shillelagh is whatever it means to you. Um, but the one kind of common factor with what a shillelagh is, it has to come from Ireland. It's usually made from black thorn. So it's made from Irish hands, grown in Irish soil as well. So if you want a real authentic um, shillelagh, um, it comes from Ireland. It's made by um, a skilled craftsperson as well. There are some hobbyist guys out there that, that do a bit of... Uh, bit of buying, selling and stuff like that on, on various platforms. Uh, but like I'm a professional, this is my job. Um, there's a guy in, uh, in Wicklow um, that's professional as well. There's a guy up in Mayo that's uh, professional as well. And uh, you know, we're the kind of three main guys in, in Ireland that, that would do it as well. Um, you know, I'm talking about guys like that have registered businesses um, registered like locations as, uh, as well. Um, there's a few guys as well that are doing it out their their back garden or their back shed or something like that. Uh, but it is a profession that um, you know you can have a living at as well. And I'm very passionate about Irish crafts and Irish heritage. And to me, these are these are like a symbol of of Irish heritage. Um, you cannot get anything more authentic than you know a piece of wood that grew in Irish soil as well. <laughs> and like you know, if you are a, have a connection to Ireland or you are. are you know, a descendant of, of someone from Ireland as well. You know, yeah. holding a piece of Ireland in your hand is powerful. There's a certain kind of energy to it as well. And there's nothing wrong with liking your heritage and your culture as well. It's like, oh my God, man. It's like, you know, these times, man, were a bit bit kind of mad where everyone is is just looking for something something to, to give out about as well. But, you know, there's something very special about an Irish shillelagh when you hold it, when you feel it, you have that connection to Ireland as well. So if you are buying... An Irish shillelagh this Christmas. You can go for the shorter one. Um, if someone needs as a walking aid, you can go for the longer one. Um, both are perfect gifts for, for, uh, for, for anyone with a connection to Ireland this Christmas. If you go to my website, mccaffreycrafts.com, look, the whole purpose of this channel is that uh, I use it as well to promote my business, to who I am. I make these professionally. This is my job. This is literally how I pay the bills. This is literally how I put, try to put my daughter through college next year if she decides to go. Uh, you know, this is, this is something that I'm very passionate about. And of course, it's my, also my full-time profession. So I've kind of lucky that I've kind of tied in the, the, something I'm passionate about into the job that, uh, that I want to do as well. So if you're interested in, in authentic Irish black torn shillelaghs, um, please support Irish businesses and Irish heritage products um, this Christmas. It's really important to, uh, to uh, in my opinion, to support craftspeople, people who make things by hand, um, handmade products as well. I think they're, they'll always be around. I think people always love the story and, and uh, like to know the people that do it as well. I do live streams every Friday. Um, I put loads of little short videos out there at the moment as well, which are a bit handy for me to do. Um, so again, guys, thank you for, for, for watching this and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy your shillelagh McCaffrey's when you get it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.